Hi everyone, this is Dr. Azzi from LA Dental. I'm here to answer some of the commonly asked questions that we get on our website um, with regards to braces. So some of the questions I get are, how long do I have to wear my braces? Can it really fix the problem that I have with my crooked teeth? And does it hurt to get braces? And to answer those questions, you really need to come in for a consultation so we can figure out what's going on. But in general terms, braces uh, will be on your teeth from about anywhere from four months to two years. And it really depends on how much of your teeth we need to move and how far we need to move them. So usually the, the amount of time that it takes to fix crooked teeth always has to do with the tooth that's gonna take longest to put in the right position. So if you have a tooth that's really rotated or crooked, or if you have a tooth that's got a long root, which takes more time to move it across your mouth or over to wherever it needs to go, then that's gonna take more time. If you have a little bit of crowding in your lower front teeth, so your lower front teeth are a little bit overlapped, which is a common thing that happens, but your back teeth are in the right place and you're biting together, then usually we can do treatment that will be anywhere from four months to eight months and it can be treated with Invisalign. So that can be done. Sometimes there's problems where the teeth don't come together because there's something going on with the relationship of the jaw bones to each other. And then uh, that takes longer. It might need traditional braces or even sometimes surgery to correct the, the relationship of the jaw bone and then to put the teeth together. So the other question is, does it hurt? So braces and Invisalign don't really hurt, but when we first get the trays in or the, put the braces on, the teeth can be pretty sore for a few days, and then that usually goes away and it just feels tight against the teeth. So at first it can be a little more sore, but in general the treatment is not painful. And I think the last question that I had was, is it painful to get a checkup? And checkups should not be painful. So if you haven't been to the dentist for a while and you don't know what's going on, um, just come on in and have an exam done. So it's just x-rays and an exam, someone just to look in your mouth. And that should never be uh, an uncomfortable or painful experience. I hope I've answered your questions. Thank you. Hi, this is Dr. Nasiri. And one of our most frequently asked questions here is, what is a root canal? Now to explain to you what a root canal is, I want you to imagine a tooth, something like an M&M's with a caramel filling. The tooth has different layers. When we do the root canal, we're trying to get to that deepest layer or the caramel part of it. And that is where the nerves and the blood vessels of your tooth are located. So when we do a root canal, we go through the two top layers and we go inside that, that most deepest layer and we clean all that out. That's where we clean the nerve and the blood vessels from where it used to be inside the root of your tooth. Then we put a filling material there and we, act, and we fill in the opening that we made to get into that with like a material like a crown or an onlay or something else. So by the time that the root canal is completed, the innermost layer of the tooth, which is the roots and the nerves, is removed and it's filled with a filling material but the outer part of the tooth, which is like the dentin and the enamel and the root and the crown is still there and it's still your own tooth. Because people sometimes ask me, so is my tooth removed? No, we only removed part of it, but you still have the whole existing structure of the tooth. The reasons that we have to do a root canal typically is because there's a cavity that's very large that's gotten into the nerve and it's too big to just do a filling anymore and sometimes it can be very painful and lead to um, some abscess or infection as well. I hope this was useful in describing what a root canal is. Hi, this is Dr. Nasiri, and I want to tell you about one of our most frequently asked questions, which is what is the process of getting a dental implant? Now, the process I'm going to describe to you is the safest way, which is called a two-stage process. The first stage is to place the implant itself, which is the part of the implant that goes under the gum. This is mimicking the root of a natural tooth. So that process takes about an hour to an hour and a half in our office. Sometimes we have to add additional bone, which is like bone grafting. Um, then what we do here is that we close the gum and we let the whole area heal for about four months. So during this four months, it's as if you didn't get anything done, the implant is buried under your gum and you cannot see it. 
So what we do sometimes is that we make you a little uh, fake tooth. So if it's a front tooth, for example, that it looks good and you can chew and you can smile and take photos and all that um, until we're able to go to the second stage of the tooth stage process, which is the part where we put the tooth that comes out of the gum. Um, this and uh, this part takes about another hour or so in our office. We scan your tooth and we have the laboratory make your crown for you. Then you come back and we, and we give you the crown. So when all is said and done, expect to have about four to six months uh, from the time when we start the process to the time when we end the process. Now, there is a lot of um, same day dental treatment or same day implants happening. What I explained to you is a very traditional way of doing dental implants, which incorporates a healing period. And in my hands and here at LA Dental, it's definitely the most successful way that we've placed implants. Hi, this is Dr. Nasiri, and uh, today I wanna answer a very frequently asked question here, which is how do I get straight teeth? Okay, straight teeth, um, the most, I guess, common and known way is to get braces. Uh, we've all seen those braces that teenagers have with the metal and the brackets and all that. So if you are relatively younger or even in your um, mid-adulthood, braces are a good option for getting the teeth straight and getting them lined up. Of course, braces are annoying and a lot of adults don't want to um, have all that wire and brackets. So there is another company called Invisalign and others like it where you can get straight teeth through a series of clear trays which are really, really transparent and great. So you can, you can try that as an adult. It's removable so it doesn't interfere with your daily life if you're a professional working and it still can get your teeth pretty straight. If none of these two methods are good enough for you, then there is kind of like the instant straightening, which are dental veneers or dental crowns. Now this is not actually straightening your teeth per se, but it's making them look straight to the outside. So we will put like a layer of, um, of a crown or a veneer, which is porcelain, on top of your tooth, and that layer can be shaped any shape that we want. We can change the position and even the color of the teeth. Um, the final way that I can tell you is dental bonding. This is similar to veneers in that we're covering the natural tooth and giving it a new shape and position. It's just not as permanent as a veneer just because the bonding material tends to chip and stain. But it is a really good and economical way to get that nice straight look smile without spending a lot of money and time. Okay, talk to you soon.